This, this is Campania Primary School, and they'll be joining us tomorrow morning on The Cartoon Company. It certainly is Campania Primary School, and tomorrow we've got a Craig McLaughlin clip to look at. We've got a Cartoon Company quiz. It's great. It's Saturday morning fun right here on Taz TV at 6. You're gonna get that feeling right from the start. Good morning, this is Robin Martin. Welcome you to our transmission of Taz TV. Shortly, it's the Cartoon Company with Craig and Boss Boss. The children's viewing continues at 8.30 with C Company. Then as video smash hits, followed by Bricks and Mortar. This program is proudly brought to you by Kellogg's Rice Bubbles. We've been waiting for. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Good morning. Good, Good morning, Rudy. How are you? Oh, not too bad. How are you? Oh, I'm not too bad at all. Why, thank you very much. Mm. Thank you for asking. And how are Campania? <laughs> now, let's, uh, let's find out exactly what grades we've got from Campania. Good Shall idea. We, um, what grade are you from? Six. 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 So that's grade six, grade five, grade four. I and there's one person three. from grade three, the I think. from grade three? No, they were fibbing. They were telling us a story. They got I think confused. they got carried away, kept going. We were going to get the blast off. They're thinking of last mm. year. They were in grade three. What about the football? Oh, what about the football? What about football? Oh, last yeah, week, football. football. What about the football? Yeah, football. Yeah, yeah, Indeed. The football. Did you see it? I did. Yep, 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 yep. I yep. sat up all day uh, watching the, uh, yep. the uh, F stroke ball. Yeah, it wasn't good, too. Mm. It wasn't good. Mm. I mean, everything. Uh, we went through it, of course, and gave a glossary of football terms before. We did. And we made did. it a lot easier to understand. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, of course, the Tasmanian boys went well, and everything was great. Uh, we'll be talking about motor racing this and weekend. You know, I, I, think, I think the team that won probably scored the more points on the day, you know. I, that's just my assessment of the whole thing. I think the team that won actually scored more points. Yep. Yes, well, that's absolutely right, boss. We'll find out a bit later on why you're wearing that stupid hat, but we won't ask right now because right. it is time to go and see Huckleberry Film. Well, welcome back to the Cartoon Company. Now, we're at this particular stage where we find out about a school. Now, Campania is a little bit different than other schools because it's in the country. And to tell us all about it, we've got three wonderful, wonderful representatives in James, Sharon and Robbie. These are the, the pick. These are the talkers, the informers, uh, the best people that Campania could offer us to tell us all about their school. And firstly, James is going to tell us about the school farm. That's right, isn't it? Yep. Now... Tell us about the school farm. Well, school farm. Um. <laughs> it's a farm. Yeah. And it's at school. Now, what yeah. sort of animals do you have? Um, we have sheep and chooks. Sheep and chooks? No cows? No. Now, what do you, what do you have to do with the sheep and chooks? Uh, the chooks just do what I want to do, really. Yeah. <laughs> and we just feed the sheep. Right. What do you do with all the eggs from the chooks? I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't go and make omelets. Take them over the cookery block and. No. Uh, and the sheep. What do you do with the sheep? Um, shear them. Right, so do you have lessons how to shear sheep? No, not yet. Right, so... I think they're great you, oh, right, so the grade tens learn how to shear sheep. And do, how many days a week do you spend on the um, school um, farm? About three days. Right, and you actually come from a farm, don't you? Yeah. So do you do anything differently at school uh, than what you would do at home on the farm? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> well, tell me, tell me. Don't be scared to tell me what you do differently. Um, well... Then you don't watch Tilly. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. So living on the farm, it's, it's a different thing to live on yeah. a farm and then go to school. And, so what are you going to do? When you're a bit older, you're going to buy up a couple of thousand acres? And, no, not quite. No? You're going to go farming? No, I don't think so. No? I'm not going to stand the land? No. Oh, that's very interesting. Now, Sharon's also with us, and uh, she's going to tell us about Jim. And, and Jim's not a person, is he? No. 
No, a gym is a big building with lots of things in it. Now, what do you do inside your gym? Um, do volleyball, badminton, basketball, netball. Right, what about uh, athletics? Oh, we have that outside. We have a day of athletics. Right, now, when you do athletics, what sort of activities do you... Do that bit where they walk along the big bar, the um, the beam? No. Yeah, don't do that. What sort of things do you do? Just uh, backflip somersaults? <laughs> oh, no, we do stuff on the tramp pit where you do handsprings, you go right over and... Uh. Right, and do you do that every day or...? No, on Wednesday. Wednesdays? Yep. All right, now another thing that happens uh, at Campania Primary School is the trade block and Robbie is a bit of a handyman, a bit of a welder, a bit of a builder uh, and he's going to tell us what he has learned in the trade block. What have you learned, Robbie? Um, how to do good artwork. Right, so the, the art room's actually in the trades block. Yeah, it's on the top floor and the woodwork and metalwork um, floor is ground level. All right. Now, have you made anything, uh, anything you can use? Any uh, practical items for the home? Um, no, not yet. Right. What what sort of artwork do you do? What's your favourite style of artwork? Uh, uh, probably painting, I reckon. Right. Design, and, uh, and is art once a week as well, or do you get... Yeah, once a week. Right. So, the general opinion here is uh, Campania is a good school, would you say? Yeah. Best. Yeah. Yeah. Three out of three, the best? Yeah. Right. So, you wouldn't go anywhere else? No. Where do you have to trot off to high school? <coughs> Campania. Oh, there's a high school there too? Yeah. yeah. Woo, what a big town. Campania District High School. Wow. Well, I hope so. And then what? Then matric, university, you become doctors, lawyers. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Farmers, uh, yeah, artists and gymnasts. All right, well, there we go. Look, we've, we've learnt absolutely heaps about Campania. It sounds like a really good school. Um, something else that's really good, of course, is um, our friend Mr Possum, and uh, he's got some information for us right now. Thank you very much, Craig. You bet I've got some information. This is the great McLean's Bubble Mint Toothpaste phone-in giveaway. All hold our McLean's Bubble Mint Toothpaste up. The great Bubble Mint taste and absolutely no sugar. Now, if you'd like to win some of this, if you'd like to win, watch now as we have demonstrated by Louise how to phone 008 005 505. Call right now, just like this. Dial the numbers 008 005 505. And if everyone from Campania casts her eyes that way, I bet you don't know what the next cartoon is. This is a Cartoon Company competition break. Okay, you guys, you're all going to get it now. Yes, this is mass teeth cleaning on the Cartoon Company. What we do, we get them all to open their mouths, squirt them with the bulk pack of McLean's triple stripe bubblegum flavoured toothpaste, and this stuff tastes so sweet, and the amazing thing about it is absolutely no sugar. Can you believe that? No sugar at all. Now, we're going to be giving this away, along with some small conventional tubes of McLean's toothpaste. If you would like to win some normal toothpaste, example, why not phone us, 008 005 and you can have this. And the third caller through will win the magnificent, humongous, blow-up McLean's triple stripe Thing oh, I don't know what it's called, it's not toothpaste, but it's a thing. So get ringing right now. That number again, 008 005 505. Back to the cartoon. And now, he is the backyard's favourite game show host with Craig's Curly Cartoon Company questions. He is Craig. Oh, why, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and thank you from me, too. It's mine. Uh, oh, I was just doing my impersonation of Craig. Oh, were you? Sort of Hello, yes, game indeed. Show host. Big a round of applause for us. Oh, yes, that's the way we do our mindless game show, Quiz Fun Time Bizzo. It and, is indeed. Uh, who have we got playing for us today, boss? Today we have uh, Tristan, Rachel and... Okay, and on the scoreboard there, of course, we've got Big Bad Phil. Big Bad Phil is the electronic scoring system Indeed. for we, we, had, we had some problems last time we played with we the did, electronic yes. scoreboard. He needed a bit, of a, a bit of a service. Yes, I wonder if Philip's being paid off by anyone. Is anyone paying you to give them extra points here? No corruption? This is going to be an honest one. Okay. I'll leave you to it. Okay, let's start. This is round one. Well, it's the only round, so it's round one. It could be round two, round two. It doesn't really matter anyway. Okay, here we go. Question number one. What was, poised here, they're poised, what was Moby Dick? Yes, Tristan. That's absolutely correct there, Phil, 1.2. 
Uh, the electronic scorer seems to have a function. We've run out of ink. That's all right. Just scratch it. It'll work. Question number two. What do they call a factory where coins are made? It also grows in the garden. It's like parsley. Um, you get sometimes uh, lollies are uh, int flavoured. Coins are made there. Int. Int. Starts with mm. Ends in int. Yeah, mint. Tristan on the ball. Two scores. Here's a big long answer, this one. Um, what instrument measures angles on paper? Sort of shaped like that. Yes! Um, it sounds like tractor and a professional tractor. Yes, Rachel? Yes, Louise! The tractor? Yes, a point to Louise. Okie dokie, a literature question now, a question, oh we're having trouble here, a question from the literature world, in what book would you read about Long John Silver? <laughs> it's an island full of treasure, it's an island full of treasure called Something Island, yes, oh congratulations, yes wait till this one right in the middle, right, a food question as the reserve scoring system comes in uh, right now. Here we go. Uh, 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 I've lost my place. Just stay with me. What did the three bears have for breakfast? Yes, Tristan. Uh, Weepix. Oh. <laughs> no, they... Yes, yes, Rachel. Porridge? Absolutely right. <laughs> Tristan, they may have had Weepix on, on some mornings, but like on a particular day we're talking about they had porridge. Okay, name Australia's highest mountain. Yes. Mount Absolutely right. <laughs> Which book would you find, would you use, would you find and then use to find the position of a town? Yes, on the end, Louise. No, it, the maps are in the book called the Something Lass. Yes. Atlas, Atlas absolutely, yes. <laughs> At what time? Oh, look at the scores. We had a score check there and I forgot to do a score check. Oh, we got Tristan on four, Rachel on two, Louise on one there, Louise. Come on, let's buck up our game here. This will be a bonus ten-point question because of that. Uh, at what time did the mouse run down the clock? <coughs> yes, in the middle there, Rachel. Uh, the clock struck... One. <coughs> That's right, the clock struck one and there was only... Okay, we're coming towards the end here. Uh, was that a bonus ten-point question, did I say then? I did. Oh, well, we better give Rachel 10 points here. Um, we better make this one, uh, to make it fair, this will be a bonus 10 point question. Because we've got a new pen, we can do that. Um, 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 um. What animal do we refer to when we say jumbo? Elephant. Oh, Rachel, yes. Oh. You've shot ahead there, 13, yeah. All right, here we go. A bonus 50 point question. In which sport terms do you use? Oh, in which sport? Oh, well, in which sport do you use the terms duck, silly mid off, and leg before we? Yes, on the end of the week. Yeah, absolutely right. <laughs> Louise shoots to the front now. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. We've got Louise on 52, is that? Uh, 51, sorry, at the bottom there. Rachel on 13, though I think that's 23, and Tristan is on. Four. And, oh, I mean, this is, this is the way you play the game. Okay, here's our last and final question, a bonus 100-point question for the answer to this one. What is the major use for sheepskin in Tasmania? Jumpers. Oh. Jumpers? No, answer's not jumpers. Yes, Louise? Mats. No, not mats, no. No, Tristan? Toys. No, not toys. <laughs> yes, Rachel? <laughs> well, yeah, that's a good term. No, in fact... The major use for sheepskin in Tasmania is holding sheep together. <laughs> <laughs> it was a trick question. I thought it was rather good. There we go. Now let's uh, do a uh, let's have a look. Uh, uh, what, what was that last answer? Holding sheep together. The major use for sheepskin is holding sheep together. Oh, I thought that's what you said. No, I know it doesn't make sense. <laughs> We're not paid to make sense. We've got, we've got a bit of... Uh, uh, anarchy. Anarchy, a bit of anarchy happening here, boss. You better straighten it out. We uh, have indeed. Our first prize today goes to Louise. It does and, indeed. Uh, I'll just get the, uh, the prizes here. The prizes here. here. We've got something a bit different today. The electronic scoreboard can hand out the prizes first. That's There's the first prize. The electronic scoreboard. He's going to be oh, no. dark. Oh, 
Oh, we'll, we'll, go, we'll get Alice to get him one yeah, later. Yeah, we'll sneak out to Alice and get uh, Who's first? Back. That's for second. Yes. Who was second? I, I yeah. didn't follow that. Oh, they're all equal first, actually. Equal because, first, um, and that's for third. Oh, equal, third. third equal first. And, Philip, you can pinch a bit off Tristan's, if you like. Oh, I was only joking. <laughs> he did. All right. Well, thank you very much. There we go. What's uh, that's, happening that's now? That's my shot. If you could just... That's my shot. Thank you very much. That's What's fine. What's happening now? Uh, see you, Philip. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Bye. Yep. Bill's gone. What's happening now? A I've round of applause. A round of applause for the contestants. And what, what are we doing now, boss? Come on. Uh, uh, this is a question for you. What happens next in the cartoon company? Nathan. Nathan? Yeah, but, but before Nathan... Oh. Before Nathan... A cartoon? A car yeah, there's going to be a cartoon. And, and Nathan's going to tell us exactly what it is. Yes, we're ready now to cross live to Nathan. We're crossing live to Nathan right now... He's ...for weird. a cartoon update. Trent! Welcome back to the Cartoon Company. It's joke time and I'm guaranteed by Campania that these jokes are fairly mediocre. Is that about right uh, assumption that they're fairly average? Yeah. I'm sure they'll be thigh slappers. We'll give them a go anyway. Damien, what's your joke? What has a bottom at the top? What has a bottom at the top? I've got absolutely no idea. Leg. Leg? Yes. Oh. <laughs> we'll go on next to Peter Marie. What's your joke? What do you call a roll that's rocking out a, a rocking chair? A roll that's a rocking chair? A roll that's rocking in a rock. Oh, a roll that's rocking in a um, A salad roll? No, I've got no idea. A rock and roll. Oh, rock and roll. Of course. Of course, it was the obvious. Sitting right there in front of my face and I couldn't see it. Matthew, how's your joke? Um, how do you build a sandcastle in ten seconds? Oh, how do you build a sandcastle in ten seconds? No idea. Use quicksand. Oh, quicksand, of course, as long as you don't sink into it and get stuck. And our final joke for today from Campania comes from Andrew. What do you get if you cross a parrot with a centipede? Parrot with a centipede? Um, no, no, I'm lost. Anyone else have any idea? No, we'll let Andrew tell us. What is it? A walkie-talkie. A walkie-talkie, of course. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, not a bad selection of jokes, not too bad at all. Let's go and see how Craig's getting on. Yeah, thanks, boss. Here we go. That's a crazy sort of rock clip show uh, zoom in crash bang we've got going there because we're doing something a bit different on the Cartoon Co today. It's the Cartoon Co Rock Show. Now, why we're doing this is because you may remember we had uh, Pete and Penny on, right? You know, how to know your phone number, know your address, all the safe things to do, right? Now, in uh, conjunction with Pete and Penny, uh, a young fella by the name of Craig McLaughlin has uh, put a song out that's all to do with uh, being safe and, and having fun and not getting into trouble. And, and we're going to have a look at it. So this is why we're dressed up like this, because it's a, it's a one-off rock show segment on the Cartoon Co. So I'm going to introduce it like the radio announcers do, because you think they all have good voices. They don't really. There's a trick that they play in radio, and that is with a tin can, and they talk into it. So here we go. We're going to introduce Craig McLaughlin, and uh, stand by. OK, on the Cartoon Co, coming up right now, it's a clip from Craig McLaughlin. Take it away, Craigie. Do you know your name? How to cross the street? How to keep yourself safe from the people you meet? You can have some fun with family and your friends, but you can say no if the fun part ends. We're keeping ourselves
What a clip from crazy Craig McLaughlin. Okay, uh, we're Craig, keeping... Craig, if I could, just a technical Sorry. problem Excuse here. Me, technical me. problem here on Cartoon Company. Yep. Uh, this isn't plugged in, it's in your pocket. The headphones. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's only for effect, boss. I'll, I'll take them off. Was, oh, was, right. Drop those. I was just trying to be creative, boss. There yes, here we go. Now, was, boss, wasn't that a great clip? Yes. All right, it was average. But we enjoyed it anyway, boss and I. We had lots of fun. We're going to give a few of these... Uh, Oh, look, they ran the wrong way, Miss Pat. Uh, a few of these away, though. The Pete and Penny Keeping Ourselves Safe Kits uh, Activity Packs with crayons, mats, absolutely everything you would want uh, to learn all about safety and things. There's a number of things there. There's uh, Pete and Penny and the Kangaroo and the Wombat and uh, no possum. So if you'd like to win one of these activity packs, get on that phone and ring. <laughs> 008 005 505 V caller number 17 through and you could win one of these great activity packs we're giving away three and uh, so while you're phoning we're going to cross right over to Gemma now and she's going to let us know what the next cartoon is Teddy Ruxpin yeah! Yes indeed welcome back to the cartoon company with Craig and Angela how are you Angela? Good. You, you're good? Are you going to talk to me? No. No, Angela's not going to talk to me, but that's fine, because we're here to draw a competition. Angela's actually here for another reason, you'll find out about that shortly. Now, last week's uh, ride in competition was, of course, for this. Yes, the Cup Final game. And uh, we're going to draw an entry out while we're having a look. There it is, Cup Final Soccer. Yay, yay, yay. Um, being passed around. I have got a winner here. And, of course, the answer was correct, because there wasn't any question. Ashley Cairns from Howrah. So this is going all the way to Howrah, to Ashley Cairns. You've won the cup final, and uh, that's really uh, good for you. Now, next week, this is why, this is why you're here, isn't it? This is why we've got a model. Now, we were looking for a little head, and we couldn't find one small enough. This is next week's ride in prize, and it's a size 48. Now, have you got a bike? Yep. And have you got a helmet? Yep. Yep, she's got a bike, and she's got a helmet. Now, you can see this is 48. This doesn't fit. Angela's head's too big for this. So if you've got a little head, most kids Angela's age would probably have a bike and already have a helmet, see? So what we're looking for is someone with a smaller head that fits into this, someone who's just got their first bike. If you would like to win it, right into Helmet Competition, GPO Box 1406P, Hobart 7, whoops, 001. There we go, just to get myself together. As you can see, that's for a very small, small head. Does that hurt, Angela? Doesn't hurt. Have you enjoyed yourself here today? Yeah. Good. Um, are we going to go and see Boss Boss now? Yep. Yes, here's Boss Boss. Thank you very much, Craig. Did I tell you that I bought a bike last Friday? Did no. I tell you that? Oh, well, I did. I bought a bike last Friday and I bought a helmet as well because that's the kind of responsible, caring, sharing type possum I am. Speaking of caring, sharing things, let's all do police car impersonations because the next cartoon is Police Academy and we'll all do police car impersonations while we go and see Police Academy. Ready? <laughs> Police Academy, we are back. We absolutely enjoy Police Academy. Now, to, you've been waiting all show uh, to find out why Boss is wearing the hat. And we're going to find the answer out right now, Boss. Why are you wearing that hat? Oh, this one? Yeah, the one on your head. Oh, I just found out in the changing room. I just thought I'd put it on to be stupid. All oh, right, well, that's a good enough reason for anyone. That's there it. you go. In-depth question of the day. Why is Boss Boss wearing a hat? And there's a bit of look, slight modification. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Oh, I've broken it. Never mind. Um, You'll pay for that. Did you sign for that? Yes, I did too. That'll go off my account. Now, we better thank our friends from Campania Primary School. Ooh. We'd better indeed. <laughs> Look at all those smiles. And there's one big smile in particular. Yeah, one big one smile. One big smile in particular. And we know who it is. One big smile. Yes, we do know who it is. Mm -hmm. And who does this one big smile belong to? Because it's a 12th birthday today. Louise. Louise. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy 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 birthday to you. And... Oh. oh. You're out of oh, time, time. campaign. Oh, please feel free. Obviously, don't have music class there. Otherwise <laughs> no. I could... <laughs> oh, dear. 
big race on Sunday? The big race, the big huge race, race now, at Mount Panorama. Last weekend we gave football tipping. We said Hawthorne would win. Paul Hudson would star magnificently. It'd be great. Uh, this week, who's your pick? Oh, I, Tricky Dicky, maybe. Tricky Dicky or Brocky. I Brocky, think I, 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 I'm, I, I'm tending towards the Wayne Gardner aspect. You know, uh, the, the, the sort of... The, 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 the power that those those bikes have is, is truly yeah, amazing. No, it's cars, touring cars. They're all the same, aren't they? They, no. they just all go round and round and round and round. Anyway, we're round, right round. out of time. Cartoon round, Company has round. come to an end. We have finished the Cartoon Company. We're going on now. A bit of C Company entertainment. And first up, we've got the return of Charlie Brown, which is one of my all-time favourites. Then we've got... What have we got next? Let me tell you. I'm thinking Denver the Last Dinosaur. And, of course, we finish off with KTV.